if you're creating a new company if you're creating a new social media page if you're creating a new post for any social media platform there are two things that you need to keep in mind the first is user research you should do ample research before starting out anything second one is defining that research so there are many ways to define your resource to make user targets to make user segments divide them into uh, basic categories we are going to talk about something different today it comes under the latter part only but this is a way that you can define your resource by making it memorable and actionable today we are talking about user personas <laughs> talking more about personas the one thing i need you to keep in mind is that personas are created on real data they can't be just created on your own so moving forward what are personas a persona is a fictional yet realistic description of a target user so it's like a prototype instead of a living actual human being but it should be considered and it should be described as if it were for real people so coming on to the second point that is what should a persona include the description should be thorough it should be brief and it should shouldn't contain any bullshit it should include details about the persona's needs the motivations frustrations etc and some background or demographics as well like age behaviors occupation etc so what to add is on the basis of what you are designing to go into more details let's get into figma and design a user persona so here in figma and what we'll do is we'll create a frame so i'll press f or i'll go here on the top left and press frame and i'll create a rectangularish frame we need to keep our use of research on the side but as we don't have to currently so i'm just assuming it i'm just hypothetically putting in data right now but you don't have to do that because um if you're starting out if you are even uh, starting your social media page you need some research you need to know if your desired niche will be interested in that page moving forward i am just uh, starting out by basic basic structure of what a user persona looks like so i am going to press r i'm going to press o i'm going to press o and i am making a circle here somewhere over here i'm going to press go to plugins and i'm going to go into unsplash try not to include avatars or try not to include illustrations here because you want to make your persona look real you want to look you want to make this like a biography you want to make this look like a bio data um i'll add in name i'll add in say johnny mac johnny i don't know how why i came up with that name but it's fine I'll just change the font to probably Vox Sans. It bold. Now here I'll add in demographics. So in demographics, you have your age, education, status, occupation. Some people also like to include gender, uh, but but I feel that including a gender is not making inclusive design. There are many genders. You can't really define them to men and women and ignore everyone else. We still don't like to add in genders, but uh, if your product really requires that, because if you are creating a, an app for a period cycle, uh, so you would need uh, a gender so mainly because it needs to be someone who is menstruating. I'll add in uh, some demographics here. I'll add an age, gender, font size. I'll change the font size to probably fourteen-ish. I'll add in the age right now, which is to be say twenty one. So what I'm creating is a persona for. So what I'm creating is a persona, not specific for any company, but it's general structure of what the persona should look like. I'm not giving in any details. All all the data is assumptions right now. But you need to you don't need to do that. You need to have solid data, solid qualitative research before going into making the persona. Without that, it won't help you. 
while creating a product. Say education, then I have occupation, I have a location. I can write down technical ability. Now I'll divide it into some sections. I'll add in a roundness to it, will be like 20. So what I can do is I can also create a, an auto layout because I really like auto layouts. So probably I'll just make this an auto layout and then make this whole into auto layout. Now what we'll do is we'll add in a quote, something this, something Johnny would say. Like when we are creating personas, it's not a single user that you interviewed. It is like you interview 10 people and they, co they come in a certain, certain user segment. So when we are defining segments, we know that uh, we interview 10 people and say 7 of them come into a certain segment, had, had, some, had some similar answers and um, 3 of them had different answers but they were also like in the similar category. So we have two personas here, we have two segments here. And I'll add in a quote. So Johnny will say, so it's a very vague statement that I use, uh, but you you will have many statements that are more uh, personal to your brand. Now we'll add in a short bio, who Johnny is, what does he want. So this defines uh, the bio, what, what exactly um, Johnny is doing, how does this help us? And the next thing we're going to add is goals. So we can have like two things here. So for goals and prestations, thinking about it, I can change the code to say, let's define it to a product that we are creating for say a hiring, a hiring thing like a career, career product, a new job. So I'm just changing this and I'm changing this to so now we'll add in goals. I'm just write down better income. Yep. Now for the frustrations. Add in the frustrations that they are feeling right now. So this should be defined in the interviews as for everything that's in here. So for the frustrations we can add something like as we've written these down, we can include many other things like um, personality personality, pain points that may be similar to frustrations, motivations, any preferred channels that they like, they prefer, la they prefer mobile, e-commerce, they prefer social media channels, they prefer real life interactions, anything like that. If your company needs to know what the user can be through, what the medium should be, so there can be a section uh, in here of that as well. So here I'll also add uh, one more, which is, this is going to be um, companies like favored or probably um, dream companies. I'll just write down here. We can add in some personality, like um, like what actually what actually Johnny likes and what a personality does he does he have. There is a growing trend where we are adding hashtags inside uh, inside this personality which is or skill is fine so after adding some visual elements and some colors this is how it'll look we did it we have our user persona here a basic structure but it'll do now you just have to go research and use this persona any way that you like this persona will be available on the figma community i'll provide in the link down below Please download it as per your convenience. Please give it a like and a like to this video as well if you like the video. I'm posting since three days. This is my third episode and I am basically I'm basically posting what I learn every day. If you really like the video, press the subscribe button and the bell icon as well. Thank you for watching. Let's see what I do tomorrow.